There's one more thing I want to show you before we wrap up our conversation on Premiere, and that is this. When I go to the mixer and twirl down this arrow right up here, I'm able to add filters and sends in the mixer. Sends we're going to talk about next week when we talk about Audition, but filters I'm going to talk about here. Click the downward pointing arrow, and I could add, say, the multiband compressor to the track rather than the clip, so every clip that's on this track is going to have the multiband compressor applied. There's another filter I want to show you. It's in the special category, and it's called the loudness radar. And I generally apply the loudness radar to the master track because I want to monitor the level of the master track, the mix, so I can see what that's like. If these red lights are on, just click them. They'll go out. To open up the radar, double-click the name, and it opens up the loudness radar. The loudness radar shows us average levels. Remember the audiometer show us peak levels? The loudness radar shows us average levels of, in this case, our entire mix because we've applied it to the master track. When I play the sequence, when I play the project, the outer ring shows us the instant-by-instant instant average level. The inner ring shows us the average level over time, and in general, if you're going for broadcast, it needs to be negative 24. If I'm going to the web, I want to have this around negative 20. Now, you'll say, Larry, how come we're not hearing anything? And the answer is because, dummy, I forgot to not solo the track. So let's uh, hit it again. Get another roll right here. We've been working for the last six years or so on the design of an interplanetary extension of the Internet. We want to standardize the communication standards and protocols that are used in space because... Notice what's happening here. I'm starting to build a pattern with the loudness radar showing me how loud over time my average levels are. And this is too hot. I'm going to ultimately do my mix, so I'm seeing yellow go to about here, between this line and about here, and my LKFS setting is between negative 20 and negative 24. Broadcast likes negative 24. I prefer negative 20 for the web, and this allows me to see over time the overall average loudness. This is absolutely worth playing with. I've written about it in my website. Feel free to take a look at how it works. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at audio for video editors. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for webinar 179. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash subscriptions. And thanks.